so hello everyone in this video i'm going to be teaching you all how to make a car game and by the way this is the part number two and uh, i would like to say you all to go into the part number one first of all and this is the code which i've done on the part number one and it has gone very interesting so today we are going to do some variables we are going to use some variables and it is very simple and you might be wondering that why am i going to use a variable actually we use variable for storing some things uh information so now let's get started so by the way you know that uh, when we're touching this dark green color we again get respawned over here so i want to see anything to happen at this backdrop uh, after the road so let's just go back to the backdrops and then let's just use the same color and let's pick it up from and use the same color which is right here okay and then let's go back to the paint and let's just make it a 70 yeah so let's just again do the same thing right here also make it rest of the backdrop and it is going to be very interesting but make sure you're not doing it right here i'll be right back after doing this so as you can see i have done doing the backdrop and Let's just go back to the code of our player and test that thing. So let's just run the program. And yeah. Yeah, it's happening the same to us right here also. Yes. So our code is totally working. Yeah. Now, as I was saying you before, that we're gonna use some variables. So it's very simple. At the a scratch. Yeah. So as I was saying you all at the scratch at the left side, we get this uh, palette, right? Motions, looks, and all. And at that at the last second is our variables. Let's go to the variables and say make a variable, which is right here and yeah so when you click the make a variable you get like this new variable new variable name for all sprites for this sprite only cancel and okay so right here just slide the name as labs and make sure you're not doing this at the caps okay because variables should not be at caps only small letters and uh, normally you should not keep anything catch the starting letter of a variable so just click ok and done so right here there is something like laps so which is our variable and right now what we're going to do is just go to the events bring main flag click okay so after when flag click and then bring a statement if then go to sensing bring touching color then just go to the magnifying thing and take it as the same color white if touching white is a starting line then what you need to do is you need to go back to our variables then you get this set laps to zero change laps by one show variable laps hide, hide variable laps so so right now what you need to do is bring change laps by one so if you just run the program and you touch the white color 
it just changes by one. So I'll again just show it to you all. But this is not how I want. I want it to change the variable one when I'm clicking, when I'm going, when the player is just going and touching this flag. The, I'm sorry, the starting lines. So we shouldn't bring change. We should bring set lapse to one. Okay, and then just go back and touch that. Yeah, it happens. So right now, then afterwards, just say, wait a second. Yeah. But something's wrong. This is not working. So this is very really simple. I would like to just see you all that if you just remove this when flag click and put the same thing at the if statement and if you just check that thing out it doesn't move it's just getting lagged so that's why I just use it as when flag click in a separate ones and we shouldn't use in the set block because after a lot of calculating and all that would just get because this cross is really 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 fast for calculating anything so we shouldn't use set so just go back to the variables and bring change only and bring it wait one second so after that go back to starting when we're again clicking the when flag click this should get refreshed means we don't want that to again to the same variable which we have used uh, the before right here so what we want to use this right here is that again bring a change lapse to sorry not change right here we need now set lapse to zero Okay, and then we only made the score, but we this score is not working. So let it work. For that, we need to again go back to the controls, bring forever loop, and place it like this. And again, go back to the events and bring one flag click. So now, if you just check that, we are getting the lapse as zero. And when you're clicking, means when the player is touching this white line it is changing by one so if i just take a lap back again so i oh i just lost again but it's good so then what we need to do is if touching this color then we are again coming back over here and again it's storing the same variable and it's getting doubled so we just don't want like that when we are going to the same value right here when we are touching this green color dark green then what we need to do is go to the variables and bring set laps to zero back again okay sure so right now i have only one lap no 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 we need something like this so let's take this go to and just place it right here remove this go to go to motions bring this go to and even duplicate the same so that we can go and place that right here and delete this one okay right good now let's just run the program it is one oh it became two we need that to again be till two seconds yeah it's good right now i'll just check that and 
one. Oh, uh, Jimmy got refreshed, and then go to the whole round. Oh, uh, almost! Go it was almost going to touch. So back again like this. Oh, uh, it again got touched. So like that. When you're doing the whole round and again you come back here and we are touching this, it becomes one more. So the total laps should be three. And what we're going to do right now is that if the laps is three, then what we need to do is set the game as over. So we're going to do that thing at the next video and I will teach you all that step by step. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and click the like and even the subscribe button below. I will see you all in the next video. Until then everyone goodbye.